Hi guys, so I wanted to share this video with you. It's the head of the TUV, the traditional unionist voice, an extreme unionist party in Northern Ireland, to the right of the DUP. Now, Jim Allister is its leader and Jim Allister campaigned for Brexit. But Jim Allister still believes Brexit is a good idea. He just has a problem with the protocol. Here he talks about EU colonialism. Yes, you heard that right. Mr. Speaker. Later today, the Assembly will debate matters touching upon human rights. Among There will be those who will have lots to say about that, but they will be the very people who have nothing to say about EU colonialism. Wow, EU colonialism. Now, he's not some left-winger, he's not a Marxist who's talking about you know, <laughs> a capitalist EU imposing its colonialism around the world. No, he has some other point of view on this. In Northern Ireland, which itself is the biggest present travesty of political rights affecting Northern Ireland. Colonialism is often uh, vilified as that which involves the imposition on a people of the laws and ways of life and ethos of others. Now remember this guy is a unionist, okay? He had no problem with the UK imposing laws in Northern Ireland. He had no problem with that. And the fact also that he used to be a member of the European Parliament. He wanted that ended. He doesn't want representation anymore. He decided I don't want Northern Ireland to be represented in the European Parliament. I want Brexit. Now he's complaining about it. Whereby that is imposed upon the object or the subject. And that, of course, is exactly the position under the protocol that Northern Ireland is in. Um, you wanted that. Sorry to repeat this point, but this is exactly what he wanted. He wanted Brexit. He wanted no longer any representation in the European Parliament. And you hear the DUP saying the same sort of thing as well, complaining that, look, these laws are being imposed upon us. But this is an agreement that was signed between the European Union and the British government. Why are you complaining about the EU and not the British government here? Remember, Boris Johnson signed this away. You should be going to him. He's your representative. He's the one who threw you under the bus, not the European Union. Other people's laws, foreign laws, that govern the foreign single market and foreign... Bit of xenophobia here, no? ...foreign customs code and foreign VAT regime that the protocol puts us under are imposed on Northern Ireland with no say, no right to, to quibble, no right to change. But that's what you wanted. That's what you campaigned for. You were told on numerous occasions, this is not good for Northern Ireland. And your response was, stop scaremongering. We want our Brexit. Unfortunately, you didn't actually think it through. And now you're complaining about the consequences of not thinking it through. Or a man. It is the very personification of a colonialism at its worst. <laughs> okay. it's, that's a little bit offensive, isn't it? To people who were colonized by the French or the Belgians, or the British, or the Spanish, or the Portuguese, uh, or other nations around the world, you know, the colonizers. Isn't it a little bit offensive to say that this is colonialism at its worst, the idea that there are checks on goods moving from Great Britain to Northern Ireland? Something that you actually campaigned for, in a sense. Something that you didn't actually read the detail of. You, you can't turn around now and complain about it. And the idea that this is colonialism at its worst, because there are checks on goods. There aren't checks on people, there are checks on goods moving from Great Britain to Northern Ireland. I think it's, I, I think I'm going out, I don't have to go out on a limb here, but I think it's a little bit offensive. Because here we have a situation where because we're in that foreign single market, etc., subject to the foreign laws of that foreign market overseen by a foreign court the people of northern ireland 
in all those aspects of our economy are governed by laws we don't make and cannot change. But that's what you wanted. If you have a problem, as I said before, go to Boris Johnson, because he's the one who signed off on it. The European Union, the Irish government, were predicting these types of problems, and your response was, shut up, we know what we're doing. Now you're complaining about the consequences. You know, does this guy actually read any contracts before signing them? And yet today, some will talk loudly about human rights, but be prepared to trample into the ground the right of the people of Northern Ireland to be governed by the laws that we make in our own nation. Once again, this is something that he campaigned for, he voted for, and he still continues to think is a good idea. I'm telling him, Jim, Brexit is a bad idea. What will Jim say back? No, no, Brexit is a good idea, just we haven't received it yet. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.